Phil, I don't think I can do this. You can do this. I've got every confidence in you. Let's go. I've got to be on my best behaviour seeing as I'm out with the sergeant's nephew. Guess why you've ended up at this station then, yeah? Well, we aren't actually that close. Whenever she came round, she had the best stories. Uh, street fights and car chases. Yeah, to be fair to you, Auntie, she's probably got a few more stories to tell than me, but um, she hasn't probably told you about the waiting, the off-duty incidents. Funnily enough, she left those bits out. She's probably seen a lot of things and done a lot of things that she doesn't want to talk about with family, but mind you, we're all in the same boat here. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, you get to see the shittiest parts of... Road. Yep, 112, 113. We're in the area. Report of a burglar at number six. Can I put you down as dealing, Phil? Yeah, we'll take that. Put us, put us down for it. Cheers, Jules. Right, you ready, Harry? This is where it begins. Yeah. Let's go. has been taken. What do you think you're playing at? I just feel fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you think you are? The new bank set? One of the downsides of this job is indigestion. You probably realise that in about five or ten minutes. Put your hands out your pockets. Yeah. 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 Every day just being as knackered as the one before. <laughs> Get tired of with age. I'm surprised you ain't behind a desk yet. 80 years and you're still waiting for that promotion. You're one cheeky bastard. <laughs> Anyway, what have you been up to today? Oh, missing persons case. Right, the white girl? Yeah, no luck yet. Back at it again tomorrow. Anyway, big man, I'm off. You look after yourself, Smithy. Try to take care of yourself, yeah. All right. Cheers, Smithy. Bye. All right. Strong first day? Yeah, it was interesting. That's unreal. Derby have knocked out Man United on penalties. Man, you were out of the cup. Can you believe it? Is it like that every day? You can't tell in this job. Every day's different. But today was one of the good ones. You have a good evening, Harry. Yeah, I see ya. and a half million crimes with homicide increasing by 14% and robbery by... The victim's on the ground, still breathing, but barely. He's got blood all over his face. I don't know if it's his blood or the lad that's beating him up. From where I'm stood, all I can see is this big bastard raising his fist up. And as he's bringing it down, I just responded as quick as I could and got in the middle of it. Shit, sounds intense. Yeah, the victim's a bit bruised and battered and it took him a while to come round, but eventually he seemed all right. And he came over to me, you know, and he, he thanked me. So did your partner not have anything to do with this miraculous rescue? He was dealing with a lad that decided to have a piss in the street at the time. Right. Are you done with that? Yeah. <sighs> oh, what have you done? What does it look like I've done? Well, you're cleaning it up. And you can take the bins out as well while you're at it.
appropriation of your tax. And the pocket you lost it, what do you mean who's your own money? This is Nico we're talking about. I don't fucking care who else you owe. You owe me, you owe me, that means you owe fucking me, all right? Stop what you doing leave me alone now. And who the fuck are you? I'm an off duty police officer. I need you to calm down and step away from me. I couldn't give a shit. Look, don't make this any worse for yourself, alright? I suggest you do yourself a fucking favour and walk away. Put the knife down and no one needs to get hurt. <laughs> Officer, you all right? Can you hear me? All right, stick with me, all right? Gonna be fine. Gonna be fine. Anyway, I heard you had to uh, book on duty last night. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. All that matters is the victim's breathing. Well, to be fair to you, a lot of officers wouldn't have done that without the protection of the uniform. I hear you're looking for promotion. Where did you hear that from, your auntie? <laughs> no, no, just, you know, you hear things around the station. Yeah, they've given up on asking me. They know, they know I'm not interested, it's not for me. Oh, yeah? Why not? I'm happy doing what I do, you know. It's OK for your auntie and other officers to climb up the ladder, go for the big cases. Fair play to them. I'm happy enough picking off. Hang on. Hello? Spiffy? You OK? Yeah, we all right. Right. Yeah. All right, we'll get there now. I'll give you a call when we get there. All right, mate. Bye, bye. We've got to get a job on. Right, so you're clear on what we need to do here? Yeah. Good. Because it's going to be your call. Wait, what? You can't back down from calls like this. Phil, I don't think I can do this. You can do this. I've got every confidence in you. I regret to inform you that a body matching the description of your daughter has been found. No. I need you to accompany our family liaison and officer to do a formal identification check. No, please, no. I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. No, no, no. No, no. No. No, please. No, no, no. Okay, son. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. You did what you needed to do. I can't do that again. Looking into her eyes and knowing that I'm about to ruin her life just like that. I'm not cut out for this. Listen, son, this, this isn't a, a nine-to-five job. You can't switch off at five o'clock. You sacrifice your emotions, your well-being, everything, for people you don't even know. I mean, tonight, 
Somebody had to make that call. Somebody had to knock on that door. Somebody was you. Harrison, listen, son. I've met lads who've joined this job. They want to roll their sleeves up, get their hands dirty. But when it's come to stuff like that, they bottled it. They backed off. You're different. You didn't back off. All units, disturbance and reports of fighting outside the Prince of Brewers. Any officers nearby? Officers 112 and 113 on the way now.